we're back. So this is the before and after for searching direct buy. Hey, Dad. Hey, sweetheart. Where are you? Study group. I'm gonna go all night. Oh, one more thing. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't even know. That guy. He hasn't directed anything. So first time he's director. A new, a he's a newbie new. director. He's written stuff. He did shorts, stuff like that. We have John Cho and a whole slew of Koreans. Yeah. So, uh, you know, after your crazy rich Asians, you might want to check this out because, you Good. know, support diversity. Good supplement. Yeah. So, um... I just am excited that they're doing this whole screen thing. It has 91% on Rotten Tomatoes, you know, grain of salt type of thing. But still, I'm always like curious how they pull off these screen stuff and it's a whole movie of just screens. And I think it works with the whole kidnapped or missing daughter sort of yeah. narrative. It's not the first movie to do it. No. But to this to this extent, it is. Yeah. Like to the extent that they're doing it in this movie. It and is. that it's actually good. I and mean, that's the biggest thing. And that they're using it to propel the narrative, like primarily. Yeah. It's like the chief vehicle for yeah. propelling the narrative forward. Um, like I said to you earlier, I'm a little worried about the cluttering the frame. Mm -hmm. Usually when I see movies, I, I don't like there to be a lot of clutter in the frame. But yeah. So I'm interested to see if I'll be annoyed by this yeah. or with all the different screens and pop-up windows and chat windows. You have a new message. Yeah. So, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, John Cho can carry a movie by himself, I feel. I mean, have you seen a... Oh, I, I, fully, movie? I fully believe in his... Oh my god, what's that movie? I, I've always I thought forgot. that he's uh, he should be a lead actor. Yeah. I, I think he's got the chops. Um, the one thing I was going to say is I don't... I kind of want to know if it's... Is it father looking for daughter? Or is it father versus daughter? I can't Ooh. tell. Because I was watching like the trailers and the promotional material. And I kind of got a sense of both. So now I don't know. I only seen one trailer. I kind of hope it's father versus daughter. I'm not going to lie. I'll be. I'll I'm be not going to lie. Yeah. So, I'm that sure. twist that Gone Girl didn't really use. Well. Yes. Because sort of, yeah, because that would be interesting. And it's original. The director also wrote it, so that's always. And kinda... Kevin Smith is jealous. Yes, because it's Kevin Cause Smith. Why not? He's not making movies himself. Yeah. But, anyways, I look forward to it. Chancho. Col Columbus. No, I don't remember that movie. But, anyway, that movie. But uh, I look forward to that. Chancho, carry it. And, yeah, I just. It's kind of weird how John Cho still hasn't starred in a Korean film. I wonder if his Korean's up to notch, because Steven Yeun's been in a lot of Korean films. Like the Walking Dead guy. But anyways, I digress. So John Cho leading a movie with screens and more screens. Hopefully, it'll be great. So uh, yeah, so this is before, and this is after! And it's Columbus. I remembered. Have you seen Columbus? It's on Netflix, watch it. It's his great, like, super art house, arts, 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 John Cho. Anyways, back to this. Um, what movie was this? Searching! It was good! I think the first half yeah, for me sure. felt like a very YouTube film. As in, I don't know if this should be cinematically experienced in a theater. I feel like it's more like a home experience. I think it'll be really weird watching it at home. Yeah. Because you're literally watching it happen on a screen, but you're looking into your own screen. But then at the end, I think things happened and I think then it became more cinematic and then the, 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 the soundtrack sort of picked it up. The soundtrack was was really kind of providing momentum for yeah. the narrative. And was it, that I think, like constantly think, in the background yeah. that like pulsing yeah. um, I don't know how to characterize the sound but it was, But I feel sometimes it was kind of like heavy handed. Beat. Yeah true. It's like a heartbeat yeah. in the background. But, but I feel like sometimes it's heavy handed where it's like feel like yes. nothing's happening and then you hear the music you're like okay that's like what's the, happening the hopeful music that sounds like it's from like a, a, a free music repository oh, yeah. um, in the beginning Shutterstock the yeah exactly um, but it, but yeah anyways beside that I the clutter didn't bother me at all there was only a few shots of the actual clutter where yeah. it was narratively cluttery because he was you know he lost yeah. his child very few things I, I liked a lot of things about this movie there were very yeah. few things that I didn't like um I think they're. I think you have to get into this mindset and accept what the director chose to do. Like for example, like the screen. I actually thought that entire film would be just a desktop, and then you would have to look specifically in this corner to be like they're talking there and then there. 
but rather they, they zoom in and like he okay. does a, he does a good job shifting like yeah. your focus as the viewer to the different things at first it was kind of and also irksome. utilizing different screens right yeah because you have like the tv screen the news feed yeah you have the laptop but i sort phone. of wish there was more i not wish but i was expecting more but like hindsight i'm okay but like while I was watching, I was like, "Wow, we're only at his house, and like how, yeah, like like the the map was very like, uh, like I wish you could have expressed it some way." That was a really weird, like it's kind weird, of a cheesy, yeah, looking, cheesy shot, yeah. like where they're like going to the lake, and then all of a sudden it's like Google Map, and then the icon, and it's all black, and it just shifts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to give uh, his character, John Cho's character, props though. Like he's a pretty, he's pretty smart guy yeah. for a dad yeah. utilizing all the social yeah. media how do you lose your passwords forgotten passwords like, and stuff wow. like that yeah. figuring out the venmo thing and all that other stuff yeah it's gonna give him and then he, he i don't know like, there was moments where it's like i i, I feel like do you want to get going there like clicking clicking into yeah. it like do yeah, you want to know what you find yeah. when you go in there yeah like because he's already he's already worried that he doesn't know his daughter yeah right yeah. And what else like, are you gonna find like, I, I really enjoy the pacing in terms of, like, the setup and it's, like, yes. learning about the relationship and it's still slow, but things start picking up and it's just, like, okay, okay, I am, con- like, there's like enough, committed. There's enough twists and turns to, to make it a really solid... And it's not one of those, like, oh, this is dumb. No, it's smart. It's yeah. pretty smart. I'm just happy that it ended the way it did because I feel like I was... <laughs> there was a moment where I I'm, was, like, I'm okay ending here, but I, was, I will feel like crap yeah. leaving the theater. Yeah, it was really, like, I was getting ready for a bleak ending. Yeah, like, Toy Story going down the fire, they're gone, they're dead. Yeah. But but thank you, you brought it back, so, it, like, I feel like I have hope in life. Because I feel like if it ended that way, I'm like, why, why, why am I watching this? Um, but it really, it, it really emphasizes how, how much, like, social media and using the internet and, and just technology in general is, has kind of flooded our lives. I love the beginning where they sort of like go through like the, the technology, like when YouTube yeah. first existed. <laughs> Windows. It was weird <laughs> it was though, like, like I, I forget. Was that like Windows Vista or something? XP? Or, yeah. I was like, oh, my parents still use that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a great montage of like, like the relationship and just what sets things off. Because I think there's a lot of things where it's like, you see it happen and you sort of assume a lot like the relationship you like see the death of the mom not a spoiler because it's, it's pretty obvious um but but then you see like oh this is it this is it you were convinced that it's like a dad versus daughter thing i and even even still watching the movie like a quarter of the way through the movie when he started to figure out that she he didn't know her that well i still was thinking like when she this could still be a father versus daughter movie yeah like when she when he found out she was um taking money out i was yeah. like oh boy here we go what is she taking out money for yeah. so yeah. yeah overall i enjoyed it it is a weird experience for sure because it's yeah it's it pretty, takes time to get i feel like it's sort of like the 3d effect where you watch yeah. it and you're like this is weird and then later on you get into but it but there are little moments that are really enjoyable for people who uh, kind of are aware of the nuances of like say for example texting yes. you know there's that moment where he like he puts an exclamation mark but he doesn't want to be too ah! too emphatic so he deletes it and he puts a period to like really punctuate his anger yeah. and like everyone knows that everyone knows that and I think that's like that's, so. that's that's the fun part and it's not overdone it's, no. it's like it's very like select obvious moment. but subtle and it really brings forth in the narrative really brings his character as like what is he feeling it's in very select moments and yeah. tastefully yeah i think yeah the tech that they use is tasteful though there are moments where it irked me because i feel like maybe he's just a dad so he's kind of older like whenever he's facetiming someone he'll close it and his face is still on the screen. And don't he just don't, it on. don't FaceTime strangers. Yes, don't. You've never met before. It seems, especially for the kids, it's like a random adult phoning you. Okay, yeah. I'll just FaceTime in. Forty-five year old like, dad. Because it's like this random girl's high school like dad. Like I should have answered this. That was weird. Yeah. Like, but then, but then I get it. It's like a narrative. You have to do that. Yeah. So I see like the reasoning, but it irks me. I think it irks me the most is when he leads things off. 
like because they're trying to set up a reaction shot to like an email that he like sees on this side of the screen but his face is here because it's like how else are you gonna do it you can't see his reaction so you don't have the emotional depth so i see the restrictions by the way i don't know again i don't know if they meant to do this but do you notice that the, the slogan of the high school is home of the catfish oh really Nope. Which is funny because, I mean, he basically, the dad kind of gets catfished a little bit. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Yeah, there's like subtle things, like if you're really up scanning. Like you said, there was like an Easter egg about the producer from yeah, Everest. Yeah, like the producer and director of Everest who produced the movie is also like in one of the frames he's listed in the, the recent calls on, on, the, on That's fun. her phone, I think, on Margot's phone. Um, so, just kind of a little... But I kept Wink. I kept looking around at all the different frames and and, and like windows that were open just yeah. to see that kind of yeah. stuff. Must have taken a lot to um, like when he's looking on ABC Seven News website mm -hmm. and they've got all the headlines from that time or, yeah. or fake headlines. Yeah, yeah. Those must have taken a lot to put to create all that. Yeah. So uh, time. Good job on that. Just to make it more authentic and fun. Like, you literally could just watch this and just focus on what's happening, but you're like, oh, let's start scanning the screen, what's on the screen. Yeah. So that was fun. Um, yeah, I think I enjoyed it a lot more after the fact. I think I brought it up earlier. It was like, it felt like a YouTube video. It, like, production value is low. Low, but it's, like, hard yeah. to, like, pull off. But, but like, probably a low-budget movie that'll make pretty decent money, I would think. Yeah, support it! Diversity! And it's a parent's worst nightmare. Yes, if you're a parent, watch it. I would hate watching this if I was a parent. Watch it with your kids. Don't watch no, it without don't. your kids. <laughs> yeah. Make sure they're sitting right beside yeah, you. Hold exactly. their hands and kiss them. You need to know exactly. Because literally, this would be the worst nightmare if you had. If you were a grandparent, you're like, hey, I like John Cho. Let's go watch this. And you're like, where's my grandkids? It's gonna. Yeah, it's a movie that's gonna make every parent reach for their phone and try and find out exactly where their kids are. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna have all your passwords in my phone now, yeah. so I can go into your Facebook. Oh, it's, yeah. I'm gonna be a paranoid parent now, <laughs> after watching this. Yeah, so always just pick up your phone when they wanna FaceTime you. Good job for a first um, movie, um, Anish. Yeah, I'm sorry. Jaranki. Sorry. Good job, but I will have your name I'll know your name movie. after your second movie comes out. Yes, and I look forward to that. Yeah. And I hope you write it, because because that's usually better. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, this was enjoyable and it's getting better as we talk about it. So that's always a good sign. And uh, this is it. This is the before and after of searching. 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 Later. Searching. So